hey girl hey welcome back to my channel today we are going to be testing out a new lace adhesive for me it's a new lace adhesive i'm gonna be letting you guys know if this is the best lace adhesive or not so first starting off i'm going to be tinting my lace with the eben lace tint or i'm gonna be sorry tinting my wig cap this is just gonna make my part and my scalp look realistic i love this stuff i love using this more than you can use like foundation or concealer on your wig cap but i find that this is just much better and it's just easier to apply just spray it on instead of using like a liquid foundation or concealer it's just faster easier blends better looks better all that and i'm also going to spray the lace the inside of the wig just to make sure that it is really coated and that it really blends in well i really didn't even have to do that much only where the scalp is going to be showing so boom i'm just putting on my wig making sure that it fits making sure that it's in place and if you want to know details on this hair i have another video about this hair and how i normally apply my lace wigs and get them to look super natural and just get them to look really really good go watch that video i will link it below wig series is always lit on this channel so yeah make sure you are subscribed and your post notifications are turned on so you know when i upload so i'm just getting all the like gunk off of the wig like out of my baby hairs from when i have previously laid this wig down now i want to comb all that gunk out and just make sure that the wig is ready to be applied and that it's free of like old residue old products and that way it'll lay properly and lay good and yeah just really making sure that once i have it down it's placed right and it looks good so now i'm gonna pin the hair back and we about to use this spray boom wig dealer melting spray this is what we're gonna be trying this is all actually my second time using this spray well really like my third time um i'm just reading the instructions here one thing uh, what it says on the instruction is to shake well so that's what i did and then it says to spray it in sections and like um, blow dry it in sections so I'm going to start on one side of the wig I try not to get this on my baby hairs that much I really just try to get it on the lace because I, it makes the baby hairs hard and I don't like my baby hairs to be hard or to look hard so I just try to get it on the lace that's it so I'm just working in sections like it told me to do and then I'm taking a red tail comb, the end of a red tail comb and really just placing it down and blow drying it on a low heat and I'm just like placing the lace down making sure that it lays really nicely and flat and I'm just going to work in sections on the lace. This is a lace closure 5x5 five five, so it is a lot quicker and easier to lay because it's not that much lace so you really don't even have to work in small sections but I just did it and I actually like it better to work in small sections um one thing that I don't like about this the spray gets stuck like when I'm like when I'm about to use it or when I try to use it it like gets stuck it's like it won't come out like I don't know if I maybe got a bad bottle or something like that I don't know if they all do that but it gets stuck so I have to like really just like press down on the spray thing to make sure and then it finally comes out and it does it does take a while that's one thing that I don't like about it because I don't got time for that I'm trying to spray it and go 
but that's a small issue that's not that's minor who cares you know but yeah so i'm just trying to get it going like i said this is my third time using this spray so like i said i am trying to not get it on my baby hairs and just get it to lay on the lace right using a rat tail comb makes it a lot more easier you can really get on that lace and really lay the lace down especially like on the ends of the lace you can really lay it down so then i'm pulling it up because i have a widow's peak i like to make sure that my wigs are in front of my widow's peak i don't want that to be hanging out so here i am spraying it again on the lace on the hairline and then using a the rat tail comb to really lay it down and make sure that you can uh, it's nothing is like sticking out or anything like that same process now for this spray the first time i used it not gonna lie i did not like it but let me tell you so i feel like it did turn white on me but i also feel like that was partially my fault because and i do feel like it was my fault because i had too much old residue from previous installs on the wig so one tip when you're using this spray make sure you don't have a lot of residue on the wig because it will the spray will turn white but this time i mean i probably put the wig on like i probably have like two installs residue from like two installs on this wig so it wasn't bad it actually did not turn out bad and when i dried it and tied it down the whiteness really went away and yeah it wasn't bad so that's the one tip when using this make sure you don't have a lot of old residue on the wig or it will turn white and that was why i didn't like it because i'm like what the heck it's turning white like ew i don't like that that's not a that's not a good look so i did not like it so i'm like okay i'm gonna clean my wig and try it again i could have cleaned it all the way before doing this video but i ain't feel like doing all that honestly if you have to clean your wig every time before you put it on then honey what is we doing here you know so I just tested it out with just a little residue on it, you know, and it actually worked out perfectly. And also I used it when I went to the gym because I just wanted to see if it's like sweat resistant. Unfortunately, I didn't really sweat that much in the gym. I'm just now getting back in the gym, so <laughs> I really didn't work that hard. But I mean, my life's still you know nevertheless it did stay on and yeah i just really make sure to take my time with the lace and really make sure that it is blended in really good because baby i want to be able to say what lace lace wear stop playing with me you know don't play with me play with your man okay and then once i got it all laid down or whatever I go in with my head scarf and I tie it down. It says it on the bottle as well for best results to tie it down for 10 minutes. So what I did, I did exactly that. Put on my head scarf and let it sit for 10 minutes. Just to really get the lace to mold into my skin. And tying your hair down is really a key when it comes to adhering your lace it just makes it very seamless and like i said it really makes the lace mold into your skin and it makes it look really good so 10 minutes that's all you need and i'm just checking out further details here you know and boom i did my makeup too hey girl yeah <laughs> so um i let that sit for 10 minutes y'all yeah, okay so normally I put my wig on with got to be glue. Now, if you know anything about got to be glue, you know got to be glue is not sweat, water, heat resistant. Okay, it's gel. So when I would go to the gym or in the summertime, anything summertime, you know, when it's hot outside, I live in Texas, it gets super hot out here, my wig would literally be coming up. So 
that's why I said I wore this to the gym. The wig did a lace spray to the gym because I need something for when I go to the gym. Gotta be glue just does not work. Once I start sweating, the wig is gonna come up. So, like I said, my wig did stay down while I was at the gym. So, I like that. And I'm going to adhere my baby hairs with the gotta be glue because it's just softer. And I like to, I, I told y'all I don't like it, my baby hairs to look hard. But as far as like adhering my lace down, I like, I like the wig dealer spray. And I feel like I will use the wig dealer spray in hotter months, like when it's heat uh, and it's in the summer, in the spring, when I'm going out and when I'm going to the gym, because Gotta Be Glue just does not cut it. I do feel like Gotta Be Glue is faster because you don't you can use a blow dryer but for me when I gotta be glue I just like if you watch my other video y'all see I just drag some along the hairline along my forehead some gotta be glue along my forehead and let it like get tacky so I just wait about a, a few minutes till it gets tacky and then I just put it on all together so yeah but I feel like this it's something that lasts longer and I feel like I actually could go to sleep with the wig dealer's lace spray I could go to sleep with my wig on if when I use this spray with my gotta be glue spray I do not go to sleep I mean with gotta be glue gel I do not go to sleep with my wig on because it's gonna come off I sleep pretty hard so it always it always ends up coming off but I never sleep in wigs because I just get really hot when I sleep with a wig on. And at night I get hot so I don't sleep with a wig on. It's just too much hair. But if I needed to sleep with a wig on, I would definitely be using this wig dealer spray. And I'm tying my hair down again because I just molded my, did my baby hairs. And I want to mold my baby hairs and make them stay in place. So I'm going to tie my hair down again for another 10 minutes. But like I said, in hotter months, I would definitely be using the wig dealer spray. And then um, days where I'm just running to the store or I'm just going somewhere quick, I just need my hair down for a little bit. I will be using Gotta Be Glue Spray. But for a longer lasting install, I would definitely say the wig dealer spray. Look at my hair. Like, look at the wig. You can't see it. Lace wear. See? It looks good. It looks really good and my hair stayed like that and the lace stayed down and I'm just using I use the carrot care wax stick wax sticks are very important when it comes to wigs to making them lay flat and then y'all have seen me crimp my hair so many times if you watch my other videos I have a full tutorial on how I crimp my hair in full details that's on my channel go check that out and I also have full details of how I like pluck my wig and style my lace closure wigs, all that. Go watch that and make sure you subscribe because I'm going to keep dishing out these videos and putting y'all on game because I don't want y'all wigs to be out here looking bad. People that's knowing, people, wigs are just a big deal now. So people really be ready to clock a wig. You know what I'm saying? They be ready. So I want y'all... I want my sisters to be looking good and I want y'all to be able to say well like see look up close and personal it looks great okay wig dealer okay you might have did a little something with this one and it's a spray I mean I kind of don't like how it kind of you know it's a spray so you know you got to be careful I don't like how I run down my forehead but it's a spray girl what do you expect you know that's just like a personal preference type of deal you know what I'm saying but and I feel like using my red tail comb is something key to getting the wig and the lace to really mold into my forehead but I would recommend this spray to you guys and I'm glad that I tried it out because I have been needing a different lace adhesive for hotter months or for when I'm going to work out 
Because let's say I work out with a boy or something. You know, I don't want my wig to be slipping up. I'm like, mm, I need something that's going to have my wig laid. Even if we is working out or doing something. You know, even like doing other stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need my wig to be coming up or my wig to be off by the time that we done. Okay? It needs to be able to stay on through any activity okay so this spray definitely will come in handy because gotta be glue like i said it's just not gotta be gotta be glue gel it's just not water resistant heat resistant or sweat proof but yeah even when i tried to take this wig spray off it says to take it off with shampoo by shampooing the hair but like i said baby i'm not about to be shampooing this hair all the time so i did take it off with alcohol and it did remove but it was still a little you know it still didn't want to move so it really is good for, like when it comes to those installs where you want to keep them for a few days and i just don't like lace glue i just feel like it never completely dries for me I feel like it never completely dries and it's just messy and it gets sticky and it's just I just do not like any lace glue and I've tried like two or three of them and I just don't like lace glue so this lace spray I like it a lot better and I feel like it's a lot like neater and cleaner than lace glue and um, it just lasts longer than gotta be glue spray so Definitely would recommend that you guys try out this wig dealer lace spray. And let me know what you guys think. If you have already tried it out before, then definitely let me know how you like it. I like the pushback look when it comes to my wigs. So that's why I was doing that. And this is the complete look. Like, lace wear. The lace is unclockable, sweetie. Okay? How do y'all feel about it? Let me know in the comments how you feel about the lace in this install. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked this install and how it turned out. Let me know if you're going to try Wig Dealer or if you've already tried it before in the comments. And subscribe to my channel. I will have more videos dropping, new videos every week, either every Sunday or if a video it doesn't come out on Sunday, then it will be on Wednesday. So every Sunday or Wednesday, I will have a new video out. Subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload this week. It's so cute. The install is so bomb. I really did that. Like, I really did that. You know when you do your hair, you're like, what? But yeah, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.